All right, ever since I did this conversion with the HyperTuff, they now have adapters for the hearts. Back when I did this, nobody was selling these. Not on Amazon. You say, oh, you're just gonna get them off Amazon. They didn't exist on Amazon. Nobody was selling adapters yet. So, I really like my Craftman's tools. No reason to throw them out. I got tons of batteries, so let's make sure this connects. It does. Let's make sure we got some voltage coming out of there. Let's go to 20, 200. is working there it is all right and then just a minute there so i like doing it this way attaching it to the old battery because then this attaches in and i don't really care if my thing is huge but i did notice after making this one uh these were getting pushed down so i had to open it up again and and hold the battery because you'll see there's a, there's a battery in there so and I don't see anybody selling a craftsman adapter and I don't much care because uh, I like these things because I can I can make anything I want them to anything I want. So we're going to do the same kind of setup. What I did is I went up through the hole, which is that hole right there. So I ran the wires to that hole. And what I did is I ripped off this battery and jammed that up into the hole and soldered it in place. Side is positive. So we're connecting up to this one and this one. Let's see which one is positive. Okay. So we have positive and we have negative. There it is, it don't happen. Alright, so and remembering how that one went, I'm gonna leave one of these batteries underneath this to hold it up. So let's get this out again. this out
thermal fuse. Throw that in our electrical pile somewhere. Reuse that somewhere else. Okay. Set. Or I'll have this. This in. And then when I put this down, that'll hold the pressure to keep that keep this up from pushing down. Oh, the center battery. The battery's old. So now, now you see when I try to, um, it, it's not closing because the, the battery is so big in there. So that's going to hold these in. Where my other one, I used a uh, hot glue to hold this, to hold that middle battery up. So you see, when I push this, that doesn't move because that center battery is holding it in place. So that's the adjustment I will be doing for this setup. Okay, so then... This is the positive side. And this is the negative side. Alright, so we don't, we don't need to film that. Alright, so I drilled out the hole a little. So I can get these two wires in. I'm not going to mount this yet because I'm going to see how it sits. I think I have to set it up like that to get the battery good. But anyway, and then while screwing around with everything, I accidentally ripped these two batteries apart. Not a big deal. I could just duct tape them right. Sorry, I could just duct tape them right back together. These batteries are dead. There's no electrical current. Nobody cares about all that. They're not part of this electrical process. Okay, so now we're going to get our soldering iron going. solder going you know, a lot of the conversion I did to get rid of the stupid ass battery and just go right to the 5 volt okay God damn it, I flexed this all up now to say for fucking five minutes. Positives front, this is the negative side. So let's see. Alright, so I had to get to the I had to use a higher wattage gun to solder on there. Solder on there and these wires are really pinned in there. to make sure that that's not going to that they're both not going to pinch and touch this battery pretty sure they're not so have your proof of concept this way I can connect our battery where's our <clears throat> this in place. Uh, this is pretty pinned. I don't know if that's going to ever move out. And these are sticking way up. I mean, I could still attach this battery here. Or not. <laughs> yeah, 
so I got to decide where to mount this, how close to make it balance. to the hot glue all right we got it screwed in place bolts longer than needed no, it doesn't matter I'm going to hot glue this to that so hot glue that one to there put some hot glue there so it touches the bottom we're going to put this back together forever and ever. That way this should never push down like it happened in the other one. Now we just need to put it together. Perfectly balanced, bro. Okay. The cricket is slightly, but that does not matter. All right. We back in business. Funny thing is, I never had an angle one. I bought this up on e off eBay, I think, for like fifteen dollars. <laughs> I think the chuck sticks on it. If you go too tight, it sticks. But anyway, yeah, someone just, someone just wanted to get rid of it. It's a stupid Craftsman. The batteries cost too much. Well, look at that. We can either use our Hyper Tough or our Heart, and I have tons of four amp Heart also. Cool. <laughs> 